Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here to talk about something that has been a little bit of a concern over the last week or so. Now, I had thought the Alan Wake 2 full system requirements had been posted for a while now. The revelation came to me a few days ago when I was looking up some information about the game just on the Epic Game Store page and I was like, wait a second. There are no system requirements for Alan Wake 2 yet, and that has now changed, but that is always a concerning sign. When you're essentially at, you know, damn near zero hour to a game being released, and we still have no system requirements, dicey, dicey. Uh, there have been games in the past that have gotten system requirements at the last minute, and sometimes those games don't turn out all too well. I'm talking about a game like Forspoken earlier this year. That's one that sticks out to me uh, pretty clearly, where that game got its system requirements like a couple days before the game actually came out. Alan Wake 2 here is getting its system requirements a week before the release of the game, but given what the system requirements are and given the late nature of us getting these system requirements, I implore you guys, be a little cautious, be a little tentative when picking this game up just because of these things, you know how it works. PC ports this year have not been all that great. PC versions this year have not been that great. Star Wars Jedi Survivor, um, you know, Last of Us Part 1. Those are just the two that always stick out to my head just because, you know, those are some of the worst games uh, as far as PC ports go of all time. Uh, Lords of the Fallen. What else? We got Forspoken, Wild Hearts, uh, Hogwarts Legacy, the stuttering in that game. My, oh my, did that drive me insane. But we do have the full breakdown of the system requirements. And right away, the system requirements are insane as it is. Now, credit to them, they do have six tiers of system, uh, system requirements, three tiers for regular, and then three tiers for ray tracing enabled as well. So, Minimum system requirements is for a low graphics preset, 1080p resolution, and a 30 frames per second uh, target. You're looking at an RTX 2060 or an RX 6600, low setting 1080p and still a 2060. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's pretty hefty. Um, that's with an i5-7600K or AMD equivalent, 16 gigs of RAM still, and then a 90 gigabyte SSD. So... You know, uh, they also know for DLSS, that is for quality. Then, recommended. Now, this isn't even at high settings. This is medium settings. Recommended is medium settings. We have a 1440p and we have a 1080p. 1440p 30fps is a RTX 3060 or RX 6600 XT. 30fps at 1440p at medium in RTX 3060. Um, the a DLSS set to balance for that. And then Ryzen 7 3700X uh, as far as the CPU. 16 gigs of RAM as well on there. Now, 1080p 60, you're looking at an RTX 3070. 1080p 60 frames per second at medium settings, and you're looking at a 3070? What kind of monstrosity is that? And that's what DLSS enabled to performance. Um, you know, good luck with that resolution uh, as well. And also in a Ryzen 7 3700X or an Intel equivalent there, 16 gigs of RAM as well. So that's 1080p, 60fps, a medium, a 3070, my oh my. Then at uh, Ultra, high graphics preset, 2160p, 4K, 60 frames per second, you're looking at an RTX 4070, DLSS set to performance, so again, that's something to monitor there, Ryzen 7 3700X once again. Uh, that's with ray tracing disabled. If you're trying to enable ray tracing, you guys will get into yeah pack a lunch brother because it's gonna be a dicey game to get into but just those three tiers a 3070 a premier gpu i would still say even if it's a generation old that is a premier relatively high-end gpu 1080p 1080p mind you 1080p uh 60 fps at medium not even high medium and uh you know, that's insane to me, uh, and with DLSS enabled that performance, like, that, that's probably the one that sticks out to me the most, 1080p, 60fps, a 3070, like, come on now, um, you know, the Ultra being a, four, a 4070, I don't think that's, that, that doesn't shock me as much, and the 3070 at 1080p and 60, that does shock me. Okay, now let's talk ray tracing, because if you're trying to run it with ray tracing, yeah, good luck. Uh, ray tracing, a low. So this is medium settings, ray tracing low, 1080p, 30fps target, 
an RTX 3070 for that as well. Oh my goodness, what are we doing here? Uh, quality uh, for DLSS, of course. Uh, and yeah, 16 gigs of RAM, Ryzen 7 3700X. Then, uh, ray tracing medium, 1080p, 60 FPS, ray tracing medium, path tracing on, 60 frames per second at medium settings, guys. 1080p, 60 medium settings. RTX 4070. A 4070, I get it, ray tracing enable, but a 4070 for 1080p gaming. Oh my goodness, what are we doing here? Come on now. Alan Wake 2 is a visual delight by what I've seen, but what are we doing here? A 4070 1080p? Like, come on now. Like, what is going on here? DLSS quality there as well, and then Ryzen 7 3700X uh, as the CPU. And then... You know, if you want to, like, sell a kidney and run it, ray tracing high, ray tracing high with pad tracing on it, high settings, 2160p, 60 frames per second here, RTX 4080, 16 gigs of RAM, performance for DLSS, and then Ryzen 7 36, uh, 3700X or Intel equivalent, and, uh, of course, 16 gigs of RAM uh, across the board. Storage requirement is a 90 gigabyte SSD across the board. Even at a bare minimum, you're looking at a 90 gigabyte SSD. Still, no HDD is listed here. This is one of the wildest system requirements I've seen all year. Um, now, this game is visually pleasing, and something very interesting to note is that this game was being developed with 30 FPS in mind on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Um, they did implement a performance mode. We still don't have details on that performance mode, but what do we got to do to get this game running at, you know, 60 FPS on consoles like the PS5 is a good console but like with system requirements like this oh my goodness dicey dicey as far as this PC uh, as this PC version is concerned now generally speaking I feel like Remedy's done a pretty good job with their PC versions I believe Control was really good Alan Wake was good uh Quantum Break was a train wreck. Quantum Break was a uh, was a disaster from my recollection. So, um, you know, can they go three for four as far as those games are concerned uh, and deliver a uh, good with Alan Wake 2? Based on these system requirements, I don't know. It's looking a little... I'd be a little sus, guys. I'd be a little sus when you look at these system requirements. This is pretty crazy. And again, one of the crazier system requirements that I've seen. And bear in mind, this game is an Epic Game Store exclusive, so right away that's going to make people pretty tentative on picking the game up it is an epic games published title so if your idea and your thought process is well i can wait a year and the game will come out on steam that might not happen because epic games uh, holds the rights to this game and they can do whatever the hell they want with it i don't i don't think that's that big of a deal i mean they funded the game at that point like if you fund the game like do whatever you want with it but yeah, those system requirements are pretty dicey dicey, and I think, uh, you know, some people are just going to be blocked out from playing the game. Now, a lot of you guys have a 2060 or a better GPU, but are you looking to play a game at low settings, 1080p, 30fps, and a 2060 only offering you? That is wild, so... I don't, I, I'm gonna be a little pessimistic here. And I would implore you guys to do the same. When it comes to PC versions, uh, you just always should go with pessimism, given the state of the industry and the state of PC ports these days. So keep that in mind, but that's gonna do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know if you're gonna sell a kidney so you can play this game with ray tracing at high. Uh, and let me know all your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting but as always guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out